Hello, all. my name is Shantae Mack, and I am a career advisor for your career and professional development team here at WGU. Today, I'll be providing you with a short video on how to navigate the LinkedIn alumni tool. I would also like to let you know that um, I host a monthly session with this LinkedIn alumni tool, so feel free to drop in. Um, you are you're able to sign up for those um, monthly drop-in sessions uh, throughout Handshake. So let me just go ahead and start by sharing my screen. Sorry, I had to click that. All righty. Sorry, I had to refresh my screen. <laughs> so first thing you do is you would navigate to LinkedIn and then you would type in Western Governors University. Once you type in Western Governors University, our main page would populate. Well, it'll be an option to click on our main page. Be sure to click on that. Our main page will populate. You would navigate to the, well, first things first, follow us. I highly recommend you to follow us to stay up to date on the latest events. Underneath that follow key, as you can see, um, there will be a taskbar. Within that taskbar, you'll see home, my employer, about, post, jobs, life, and alumni. You are to click on that alumni tab. Once you click on that alumni tab, first you'll just see um, people you may know in your area that have graduated from WGU. Um, and then, say for instance, if you're looking for a specific job opportunity or you're looking to learn more about the field that you're trying to pivot toward, my recommendation would be to type in specific job titles for this search engine box um, or specific skill sets that align with your interests. So say for instance, you were looking to become an HR manager, or you just would like to know what individuals in the HR industry, what type of jobs that they're performing on a day-to-day basis, um, what type of duties and tasks. So what type of um, you know fields are they working in within that industry? You would just search HR and first things first, you would see where they work, where they live, what they do, what type of skill set um, are they you know are they highly skilled in, what they studied, and how you are connected. So my advice, say for instance, if you wanted to work for Amazon, you would just click on that Amazon tab. It's going to populate 156 alumni that are working in the HR sector um, for Amazon that has that somewhere listed throughout their page. It's going to show you how individuals that you're connected with um, are connected with them. So mutual connections. And my advice, say for instance, my advice would be to explore some of these profiles and see what intrigues you the most. And say for instance, you're really interested, after you explore some of these profiles, you're like, hey, I definitely would like to connect with this individual to get to know more. Um, my advice would be to try to connect with them and add a note and say something as brief as, Hi, my name is so and so. I'm a current student at WGU, or I'm a, you know, WGU alumni. I saw such and such throughout your profile that highly interests me. Um, you can whether it's maybe it's where they're current the company they're currently working for. Maybe it's the certifications that they've obtained. Maybe it's um, what they do on a day to day basis that really intrigues you. So whatever the case may be, I highly recommend that you state that um, when you add this note and say, you know, say what, you know, hey, I was thinking that we could um, um, see if we could possibly connect so that I'm able to um, learn more about this specific field or get, gain a little bit more advice on my concrete um, decision 
gain a little bit more concrete advice on my decision making, my career decision making journey, or my job search journey, or, you know, interviewing tips, anything, you could just state anything. And once that connection has been secured and the informational interview has been secured, then of course you would go ahead and develop your personalized questions that you may have for this individual. So that's um, how you access the LinkedIn alumni tool. And as I stated um, at the beginning of this how-to video, basically I will host a session once a month for this tool. Um, so don't forget to drop in, sign up through Handshake, and it was a pleasure. Thanks. Bye-bye.